Working principle of four-stroke gasoline engine and diesel engine. Before jumping to explain the working principle of four-stroke engine even gasoline and diesel engine. Now let's understand the different parts of IC engine. Cylinder block. It is the structure which contains the cylinders and other components. Cylinder. It's a chamber where fuel is combusted and power is generated. Cylinder head. It sits above the cylinders and forms the roof of the combustion chamber. Piston is a moving part of the combustion chamber. It is responsible for converting the energy released during the combustion process into mechanical work. Piston rings is a metallic split ring that is attached to the outer diameter of a piston in an IC engine or steam engine. Piston rings are used for sealing the combustion chamber so that there is minimal loss of gases to the crankcase. Connecting rod connects the piston to the crankshaft. The reciprocating motion of the piston is converted into rotary motion of the crankshaft. Upper end of the connecting rod is called small end which carries the piston by means of a floating pin called piston pin or gudgeon pin. The lower end is called big end of the connecting rod, which connects the crankshaft through the crank pin. Crankshaft is a mechanical component used by in a piston engine to convert the reciprocating motion into rotational motion. Crankcase. This is the main housing at the bottom of the engine providing support for the cylinder and crankshaft bearings valves the engine valves primary function is to allow air into and out of the cylinder crank pin connects the crankshaft to the connecting rod for each cylinder intake and exhaust ports these ports are passages cast in the cylinder head leading from the manifolds to the respective valves for petrol engine spark plug is used to ignites the compressed air fuel mixture for diesel engine Injector is usually used in compression ignition engine. It sprays the fuel into combustion chamber at the end of compression stroke. It is fitted on cylinder head. The working principle of a four-stroke engine, whether it runs on petrol, or gasoline, or diesel, is essentially the same. Here's how it works. The spark plug fitted at the top of the cover, initiates the ignition of the petrol, in four-stroke engine. Intake stroke. The stroke begins when the piston is at TDC, top dead center. The piston moves downward. The inlet valve opens. A mixture of petrol and air vapors, mixed proportionally by the carburetor enters the cylinder and fills the space in the cylinder. The piston reaches its lowest position known as BDC, bottom dead center. Compression stroke. The piston moves up after the intake stroke. The inlet valve closes when the piston moves upward. The exhaust valve also remains closed. The piston compresses the fuel-air mixture by pushing it upward into clearance space. At the top of the cylinder, the pressure and temperature mixture increase during compression. Power stroke. The fuel-air mixture at high pressure and temperature is ignited by a spark. The spark ignites the fuel-air mixture. This burning increases the pressure and temperature of the gases further. The gases expand producing an explosive force pushing the piston down at high acceleration. Then the linear movement of the piston is converted into rotary motion of the crankshaft. Exhaust stroke. Piston reaches the bottom center at the end of the power stroke. The exhaust valve open. The bunt gases escape at greater speed. The piston moves up from bottom center and push out the remaining burnt gases inside the cylinder. At the end of the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve closes and the cycle is repeated. For every four stroke of the piston, the crankshaft rotates two revolutions. Working of a four-stroke diesel engine. The basic construction of a four-stroke diesel engine is same as that of four-stroke petrol. 
engine except instead of spark plug, a fuel injector is mounted in its place. A fuel pump supplies the fuel oil to the injector at higher pressure. It works on diesel cycle or constant pressure cycle. Intake stroke. In intake stroke the piston moves down. The inlet valve is open that allows air to enter. The cylinder and fills the space. Then the piston reaches the bottom center and again starts moving up. Compression stroke. The piston start moving up the inlet valve is closed. Then the air is compressed. The pressure and temperature of the air increase due to compression. Just before the piston reaching top dead. Diesel fuel is sprayed inside the cylinder. The fuel is sprayed by means of a fuel injector at a very high pressure overcoming the pressure of the compressed air. The fuel gets mixed up with air and it contains oxygen. Since the fuel is a hydrocarbon, the temperature of compressed air is sufficient to initiate the combustion and the fuel is burnt. Power stroke. The piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. The heat released by combustion increases the pressure and temperature of the air further. The maximum pressure and temperature of the burnt gases act on the top of the piston and forces the piston to move last, accelerates the piston downwards. Just before the piston reaches the bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens. Exhaust stroke. The piston reaches the bottom dead center and starts moving up. The burnt gases are being pushed out by the piston and escapes through exhaust valve. Before the piston reaches top dead center, the inlet valve is opened and the cycle is repeated. Advantage and disadvantage for stroke engine diesel versus patrol. Here's a description of the advantages and disadvantages of both four-stroke diesel engines and petrol, gasoline, engines. Diesel engines tend to be more expensive to manufacture and purchase compared to petrol engines. Diesel engines are generally noisier and produce more vibration compared to petrol engines, which may be perceived as less refined or comfortable, especially in passenger cars. This has led to stricter emissions regulations in many countries. Advantages of petrol engines. Petrol engines typically operate more smoothly and quietly compared to diesel engines, providing a more refined driving experience. Petrol engines are generally less expensive to manufacture and purchase compared to diesel engines, making them more accessible to consumers. Petrol engines produce lower levels of nitrogen oxides N.O.X, and particulate matter compared to diesel engines, resulting in cleaner exhaust emissions. Petrol engines are generally less fuel efficient compared to diesel engines, meaning they consume more fuel for the same amount of work. Petrol engines typically produce less torque at lower RPMs compared to diesel engines, especially in heavy-duty applications. Petrol engines may require more frequent maintenance compared to diesel engines, including spark plug replacement, ignition system tune-ups, and more frequent oil changes. In summary, both four-stroke diesel engines and petrol engines have their own set of advantages and disadvantages, and the choice between them depends on factors such as intended application, fuel economy requirements, initial cost considerations, and emissions regulations. Like, comments, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content about the world of heavy equipment. Thank you for watching and your support.